Ciao everybody. It's Wednesday. Hashtag Wine Wednesday. <laughs> you know Jeff did that on our virtual happy hour last week? Did he? I didn't remember. You didn't see that? I wasn't Yeah, one of our friends, we did a virtual happy hour and he, he got on the, uh, whatever, Zoom or whatever it is. And he was like, Oh yeah, hashtag, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm really excited because I have my co-host, co-anchor, I kept calling him co-anchor last week, and hey Tabitha. I'm from Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and, from Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm happy to have him again this week. I feel like Wine Wednesdays aren't the same when it's just me. Yeah, when you drink on a Tuesday. <laughs> Wednesday, you don't want to drink. Uh, it's fine. We survived. Not only did we survive, we thrived. <laughs> so, um, all right. So it's hashtag Wine Wednesday. Um, I know normally we've been doing two wines. Everyone, hold your breath. We're doing one wine this week. Um, on, to be totally honest, I was at the beach earlier and I had a few Trulies, White Claws, whatever those things are, seltzers, and... Um, and we didn't really find a white that we wanted to, to look, you know, go over. That was one of the biggest things, but we already had yeah. the red prepared, but we just didn't find a white that we really wanted to, yeah. to go over. So, AKA we didn't do our homework, but it's okay. We're gonna taste a great wine and we're gonna talk about it, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Well, let's pour it. <laughs> well, you wanna explain a little bit about it first? <laughs> oh yeah, that's why we do this. Um, okay, so it's a 2015 Phantom. Uh, that is the name of the wine. It's like a mysterious wine, but um, it is uh, by Bogle Vineyards, and I'm sure you guys have seen um, Bogle. They, you can find Bogle wine at almost every grocery store um this particular vineyard is out of clarksburg in california sacramento basically yeah it's basically sacramento so um <clears throat> like middle of the state um warm pretty dry terrain well uh, i'd say middle it's it's, it's oh. like pretty middle. It was, it's right beside San Francisco. San Francisco is a pretty middle. It's pretty far from San Francisco. It's like mid to north. It's like north central, if you will. Suddenly, I don't know my geography. <laughs> Another conversation. Anyway, um, yeah, so, and this is a red blend. Um, it is a, uh, a blend of four different grapes. It's 44% Petite Syrah, 44% Zinfandel, 10% Merlot, and 2% Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so it's going to be probably pretty heavy. I've never tried this wine, so I bet it's good. Hey, Ryan. Yeah, I think you have tried it. I don't know. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I know I've had it. It's really good. It's bold. It's for, especially, I mean, with Syrahs and Zens, they're more fruit forward, jammy, and you know, typically more bold. Uh, I like it, it's really good. And, and, and a lot you... of other people like it because wine enthusiasts gave it a score of, I think 90 points is what it was. 90 points? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I had like a little tag. <clears throat> and where'd you get it? Actually, yeah, I was from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has some good stuff and then some stuff I'm like, you're carrying this? You consider this a reserve Cabernet Trader Joe's and you put your name on it? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Two buck chuck? More like go throw up outside for $2. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Uh, Two buck chuck can be enjoyed. Yes. Um, it can, it's also a great cooking wine I've found. I've used their Cabernet um, Sauvignon for cooking um so I tasted it. <laughs> it's okay we can go out of order that's part of the joy of having our own blog is we it get is to do it however we want yeah. i just forgot i know what i taste it but it's really good it's a really good wine i'm i like big bold wines 
uh, like California cabs and even, I mean, I do like some French wine, like big Bordeaux's and stuff like that. I'm a fan of, but you know, these Zens or anything, you know, my palate likes the pepper, the bold. So these are like, really yeah, this one's definitely up your alley. It's good though. We just ate. Um, we did have, we, I did not cook tonight. I know. Um, we ordered out and I had, we had uh, Indian. Oh. So this is actually a nice, like, strong after having. <laughs> Um, a pretty filling, um, you know, sauce with lots of different flavors and um, spices. This is a great wine to segue what you into. Uh, what we Hi guys, I don't have my glasses on because the ring light does this like weird thing. Hi guys. I'm not ready for a nice glass of wine too. Okay. Oh yay! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. 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 Oh, since the Vertels are drink. here, since the Vertels are here, did you see us look? Just, just make sure that you did see us. <laughs> shout out to Olivier. Yeah, shout yeah. out to the Vertel family for making for it making a thing. Super weird to, to toast. No. <laughs> Eye contact. We do it. We do it to everyone now. We do it to everyone now. So it's like, and people people look at us kind of weird now. When we do it, but it, to us, it's like, it, I think it's a sign of respect, you know. And and especially, uh, you know, Olivia, he's like one of my favorite people in the whole world. Um, well, it's it's when you say like, salute, ching ching, like whenever you're cheers, cheersing is the word I'm looking for. Whenever you're cheersing, um, people. Or I think I think it's just a French thing. I don't know. Since the Vatels are on here, you guys can correct me if yeah, I'm wrong. Chime in on the, um, but, the chat there. But I, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just you have to have the eye contact so that it like actually means you're like saluting that person, right? I don't know. Maybe I've forgotten. I know uh, like this was a thing way back when, and now we just do it. And I bet even if I asked my mom. She probably wouldn't know why we do it. Because Olivia, in Italy, they don't do that. Olivier told us to. So we, just, <laughs> yeah. we have to listen or be outside of his circle of trust. Oh, anyway. The circle of trust and the families. All right, so what do you smell? Well, it definitely is, like I said, this is very Jamie to me. And you can definitely smell those, those, those black fruits in there. Um, I smell like currant. I think there is some current there. I've, I've wrote some notes in it. I've also looked it back up. But you can definitely smell the jammy, jam in there. Black plums, berries, and stuff like that. Um, but definitely, I really like this because, again, it's that pepper for me. I love seven, seven years of bad sex if you don't look in the eyes. In Scotland, look at James McGowan. He said, in Scotland, we say cheers and smash the bottle on your head. Sounds about right. Um, I didn't know that was it. Okay, well, then we always... That's not it. She's making that up. I know no. I know Olivier would not do that. Would not say that. And I you know. know that Dominique is way too proper to, to be... This is the reason why. Well, no, Europeans are pretty... I, yes, open. but Dominique is... I don't feel like she would ever say... Talk about... I don't know. That kind of stuff. Anyway, seven years of bad set for, so this is going to go on, on YouTube later. So for those that uh, don't see the comments on YouTube, um, we have, we have a confirmed, uh, what is it called? Like a confirmation that, uh, it is seven years of bad sex. If you don't look somebody in the eye when you cheers them. What I'm if pretty, it's your friends I'm, though? I'm, I'm, okay. <laughs> I really not looking, like, is it, especially when look I look like, eyes? especially when I look Olivier and Dominique like, oh, we don't have bad sex. Like, nah. Great. So that's why I know, it's a sign of respect. I'm almost sure. We're going to make some phone calls after this yeah. and figure this out. What time is it in France right now? I don't know. It's like seven hours. It's probably almost midnight. Wait, is, is Olivier like, in? Yeah, he's in France. He's Mr. They should call him Pitbull. <clears throat> Mr. Worldwide. Because oh he's God. always flying around or going somewhere. <laughs> That's 
sure they can. <laughs> they should. I won't tell them that. Oh. Okay. Back to the wine. We love the Vitell family, obviously, but... Yeah, I get a lot of black currants, <clears throat> uh, the dark, like a dark cherry too, a little bit, just a little bit, but not like a sweet cherry. I wouldn't call this one fruit forward, but maybe that's. Uh, yeah, I, I think it is, it's especially jam. There's a lot of jam in there, so I think it is. It is fruit forward, not like, not overwhelming. Like I would say, like uh, like Rombauer Zen. I used to, uh, I love Rombauer Zen, you know, but their Zen is not like one of my favorite Zens, and I. Of course, Obviously, this is a, a, a blend, but it's like, I'm trying to make a comparison with it being the fruit forward. Uh, their Zen is just like a, a little too sweet, a little too fruit forward for for me, even. Um, I really do like this one. Uh, I, could, I could drink this, like, especially after, I mean, I, you don't want to start with this. This is something, again, you need to kind of end on being so bold or you'll burn your palate out. If you start drinking this, you're, you're, you're just going to... Be drunk really fast because it's fourteen point five percent, and oh, yeah, great. And uh, you're gonna burn your palate out really fast. So start with something light, Chianti, Pinot Noir, yeah, medium body cab, something like that. That's why I'm glad this we're having like, this after dinner almost, because this is a good after dinner wine too. You know, like sometimes I know we're not the only people that do this. You drink a little bit of wine with dinner. And um, you finish dinner and you relax, sit on the couch, I don't know, continue to sit at the table and talk. Um, I like to have maybe another glass after that and just hang out and enjoy the wine and not like rush to the next activity. It's just me. This is one I can do that with. Some of them I'm like, mm, like I feel like I need food with it. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely, you can just have this, like, even make it even your second bottle. Um, it's really good. I really enjoy this one. What do you taste? Oh, um, <clears throat> definitely the, this is a, just dark fruits and that pepper. That, again, I cannot get over how much that can... I get the pepper at the end. <clears throat> <clears throat> Coronavirus. <laughs> she was free. Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, just a jam, it's the black plums, um, all that, just those dark fruits, um, everything. Uh, I don't know. It's, this is really, like, blends are, I think blends are one of those hard, harder things, too, to, to actually, you know, figure out, too, because you're, you're coming from now four different directions, you know? Well, yeah, to have four different kind of grapes yeah. complicates things a little bit. You, you, well, but the, the Cabernet Sauvignon is really small. It's yeah. a small, small Yeah, but percentage. still, yeah, you know, it's, <clears throat> it is. The bulk of this is Petite Syrah and uh, Zinfandel. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, that's 88% on the freaking wine. Um... I'm just looking over what I wrote on it earlier. Uh, it was like a little bit of, yeah, you can definitely taste some like oak and like cedar in there. Um, yeah, I still some oak and cedar. This is one of those ones that it's, I think this wine was only uh, 16 or $17. So it's not super expensive. Like we try, I mean, we will spend money on wine. Don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, like I have no cool. problem spending fifty a hundred dollars on a bottle of wine. Um or more at times. Yeah, but, but we this don't is drink like one of those day. Da yeah, this, this is like one of those daily ones that I can be like open up a bottle, you know, after I've had a bottle and with this and then be finish the night out right. <laughs> it's good. I just fourteen point five. Go ahead and get it taken care of everything. Um what do you, what do you think? I don't know. Like I get the pepper finish, but there's almost like a, there's a tiny bit of acidity at the very end of the What's finish. It? Tannins in it? Tannins. Yeah. Believe it or not, he's more of a wine expert than I am. And when we started dating, he was into like 
I don't know if, if it's oh, craft it beers, but you were more of a beer drinker. Yeah. <clears throat> but oh, main, how the turns <clears throat> tabled. The main thing was I just picked up a book and I read and I drank. That's how you learn about wine. You just have to drink. I mean, that's that's how world-renowned uh, sommeliers become, you know, have a name. It's because they just, they, they open up a $3 bottle and they open up a $300 bottle and they just drink. It doesn't matter the price or, or anything or what water it's from, you know. You, you have to continuously drink to, to find your palate and to explore new wines a way you can learn about them. And, I mean, practice makes perfect, so. I mean, don't go to rehab or anything like that. Don't create a don't drinking problem. Don't overdo it. Create a drinking problem, but. Drink responsibly. Yes. This message has been sponsored by Tracy and Jesse. So I just wanted to share something really fun with you guys. So this is the cork. Um, and it has writing on it. See the writing? I'll read it to you because it's not going to focus correctly. Bogle, which is the name of the uh, vineyard, says Bogle, noun, like you would see in a dictionary. Scottish origin, a friendly spirit, semicolon, a phantom. James. So that would be this wine. It's the phantom, um, which is what Bogle means, I guess. Well, That's awesome. A, uh, That's fun. I love stuff like that. Whenever wines have like a fun surprise. Yeah, like popsicle sticks. When they used to give you jokes and stuff like that. <laughs> really, oh just kids. my god, that's amazing! Yes, I remember. It's kind of like adult. they were really corny, but oh yeah, like oh, this is corny. more meaningful. Yeah, like like uh, one one of my old favorite one was uh, what animal don't you play poker with? Do you know that one? No. A cheetah. <laughs> Thank you, popsicle sticks. <laughs> Oh man. You never heard that one? No. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Congratulations. Somebody probably <laughs> world renowned rider. Um, what would you eat this with? What would if I have? you were if you if we were not drinking this after dinner, oh, which what would, is what, what we would have Oh yeah, this do. is this is definitely like a big steak, big ribeye, uh you know, like your your big steaks, plenty of fat. You know, a side of Brussels sprouts. Yeah, something like that. Brussels sprouts with a little bit of like pancetta or bacon. Asparagus too. Asparagus would be really good. A big steak. Um, man, I just I can just see that because that their pepper. It, this, these scents always go so well with big red meats and stuff like that. You know what else I would say too is oh, so buco. Mm, also, buco is good with anything. Yeah. I'll eat, it, can, or I'll drink anything with also buco. I'll probably drink Winchell Whopper fluid with also buco, to be honest with you personally. Um, I would even venture to say that I would uh, eat barbecue with this. No. Is that well, it just depends on what. I mean, yeah, yeah, you definitely can. You, just, you can't do it. Like anything. some strips of brisket some spicy barbecue sauce. Spicy barbecue sauce. Remember, I'm craving Texas barbecue yeah. while I live my life in Florida. At the beaches. I know. It is nice here. You can get Texas barbecue here. You can't get Florida beaches in Texas. Well, on that note. Geography. <laughs> Math. That's not even math. I know that. It's, 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 it's called. It's a joke. It's a knife. Oh, okay. You don't know that one either? No. Oh my god. You really do need to like look at more memes and get with today's. Hippies. I don't have time to look at memes. I'm a very important person. VIP. VIP, baby. You were in the ocean all day today. <laughs> Well, yeah, I had to get my tan, although I'm a little I'm a little red right now, but it'll be a tan tomorrow. All right, any parting thoughts? Oh, definitely. Um, try this wine. Definitely try this wine. Again, 
big red meats. I would, I would highly recommend this, especially for the price. And I don't generally go by what wine enthusiasts say, because um, most of the time I just, for my palate personally, I don't feel like they match up to what they, you know, advertise their wine as. You know, if they say, oh, well, this is, you know, light bodied or whatever, or bold, especially when they say bold. I, I just don't feel like um, uh, it is most of the time. Uh, but honestly, this is this is the first time they've actually shocked me. I think everything they've had to say about this wine is spot on. Um, great wine. I can't for the. He's already in AA and he's about to relapse. Catch him drinking out of our wine glasses because he's a little turd. Um, yeah, I'd have to echo that. Um, definitely, if you have Trader Joe's in your area, or if you don't. Um, like I said, I've seen Bogle Vineyards uh, wine before in a lot of different grocery stores. Um, be on the lookout, and if you happen to see this bottle, Phantom. Back it up just a little bit. Back it up. Turn it. Yeah, Lord. Phantom. If you see that, go ahead and pick you up a bottle. Give it a try. Slide to the left. Watch, rewatch this video and drink it with us. <laughs> Even though today was a little more fun, today wasn't as formal as Yeah, normal. sometimes you can't always be serious. Sometimes you just need to relax, enjoy the wine, and not be so pretentious. You know, because that's wine. <clears throat> I believe drinking wine, you should do it with, you know, love and laughter and all that, you know, those corny things that people say and with people you care about because. You know, it should, I think wine is an experience, you know, and that's, you know, with life and everything. So you can sit back, tell stories and, and have a, you know, a great glass of wine. Yeah, I agree with that. Wine is all about experience and experiencing it with others and creating your own experience and your own taste for what you like and dislike. So, thanks for joining. I um, will post about this wine later tonight. You can find it on my blog, latavaladitracy.com. Um, and if you like this video, give us some love. I'll be posting it on Instagram and YouTube as well so that you guys can give it a, give it a watch at your leisure. And that's it. A Spanish for leisure. Thanks for coming this week to hashtag Wine Wednesday. Come on. Oh, I just as we're leaving, and we've been talking about the Matils the whole time. Louis, Louis shows up out of nowhere, so like the last twenty seconds as we're about to leave. Oh, that's okay. I'm sure that he and, and Tabitha will Wait, catch up on it. Louie, go through the comments real quick and see what your sister wrote and tell if it's, this is true or not. Like whenever you cheers. Thanks, Ryan. Whenever you cheers, is that what it means? Like if you don't look in the eyes? This is our pig. Yeah, this is our bat pig. Oh, he said, sorry. <laughs> that means no, I told you. No, I think he means he's sorry for being oh, 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 okay. Anyway, we will confirm or deny this and right after this call, and I will post in my blog, how about that? For a fun surprise, I will confirm or deny. I'm sure, and actually, you know, I'm sure... I know Lucy's telling the truth, but there's got to be a little bit more to it, too. I sent you proof. Proof in your inbox. There's no way. It's true. Cheers, she said. So. I don't think. I think it's true. I'm team Lucy, and I totally believe it. And otherwise, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Would you really want seven years of bad sex? No, but I just don't think that their exactly. mother would be would hype about it that much. 
I think it's well, respect. I think it, it well it became a thing too yeah. with our families. Yeah. And it's more like a joke. Like we don't I know. You don't actually like But no, I do it all I do it all the time though. I don't want I make people look me in the eyes. <laughs> it's an old French story. Old French story, yeah. See? So yeah, See I Spanish. I will post. I we, will we. Lucy. I will read whatever you wrote or sent me in my inbox, and I will post it in my blog as well. See in the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's enjoy this wine. Let's watch a cooking show and enjoy this wine. Yeah, I want to watch. Guys, grocery games. I love that show. By the way, so guys, good. if you don't like guys' grocery games, you know. All right, just, just we gotta go. It's time to go. Hashtag Wine Wednesday. Thanks for coming, guys. Oh, back in the day, you cheered while looking in the eyes because they poisoned your drink. If Because if they poisoned your drink, you could see it in their eyes. <laughs> let's, go to, let's just go to the inbox. Let's just go ahead and solve this real quick. Well, no, she sent it to my inbox. I will post the verdict and I'll do a little bit of research too and I will post it in my blog. How about that? All right, say goodbye. Adios. Ciao. Muchachos. See you guys next week. Thank you for your support. Drop me a like. Ciao, 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 ciao.